Maase chapter 4. And as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the set apart place and the Sadducees came upon them, being annoyed because they taught the people and announced the resurrection from the dead in Yahusha. And they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of the men became about 5,000. And it came to be on the next day that their rulers and elders and scribes assembled in Yerushalayim, as well as Hanan, the high priest, and Kayapha, and Yohanan, and Alexander, and as many as were of high priestly descent. And having placed them in the middle, they asked, By what power or in what name did you do this? Then Kepha filled with the set-apart spirit said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, If today we are called to account for a good deed towards a sick man by whom he has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that in the name of Yahushua Messiah of Nazareth, whom you impaled, whom Yah raised from the dead, by him this one stands before you healthy. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, for there is no other name under the heaven given among men by which we need to be saved. And seeing the boldness of Kepha and Yohanan, and perceiving that they were unlearned and ordinary men, they marveled, and they recognized that they had been with Yahusha. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could not contradict it. But when they had commanded them to go outside of the council, they consulted with one another, saying, What shall we do to these men? For indeed, that an outstanding miracle has been done through them, and apparent to all those dwelling in Yerushalayim, and we are unable to deny it. But in order that it spreads no further among the people, let us strongly threaten them to speak no more to anyone in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor to teach in the name of Yahusha. But Kepha and Yohanan answering them said, Whether it is right in the sight of Yah to listen to you more than to Yah you judge. For it is impossible for us not to speak of what we saw and heard. And having threatened them further, they released them, finding no way of punishing them because of the people, because they were all praising Yah for what had been done. For the man was over 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing had been done. And having been released, they went to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and elders said to them. And having heard that, they lifted up their voice to Yah with one mind and said, Yah, you are Elohim, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. Who by the mouth of your servant Dawid have said, Why did the nations rage and the people plot in vain? The sovereigns of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against Yah and against his Messiah. For truly in this city they were gathered together against your set-apart servant Yahusha, whom you anointed, both Herodes and Pontius Pilate, with the nations and the people of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your purpose decided before to be done. And now, Yah, look on our threats and give your servants all boldness to speak your word, by spreading out your hand for healing and signs and wonders to take place through the name of your set-apart servant, Yahusha. And when they had prayed, the place where they came together was shaken, and they were all filled with the set-apart spirit, and they spoke the word of Yah with boldness. And the group of those who believed were of one heart and one being, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had all in common. And with great power, the emissaries gave witness to the resurrection of the master Yahusha, and great favor was upon them all. There was not anyone needy among them, for all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the price of what was sold, and laid them at the feet of the emissaries, and they distributed to each as anyone had need. And Yosef, who was called Barnabas by the emissaries, which means son of encouragement, a Lewit, a native of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the feet of the emissaries.